welcome back to Fin Me Up. Today we'll be looking at why you can't ignore cryptocurrencies as a long-term investment, as well as some interesting facts that you might want to know that has been happening the past while. In this video, we have placed timestamps for you, so you can decide which parts of the video you want to view and which not, but for full benefit, we recommend you watch the full video. Before we get into it, let us know in the comments whether you want more crypto updates from us. It will include news, research, interviews, opinions, education, and more. If you want more crypto from us, let us know in the comments and we'll do it for you. So let's get into it. The actual fundamentals of cryptocurrencies makes sense. In many cases, cryptocurrencies is actually the wrong term. It should rather be named something like blockchain technologies. Bitcoin, the OG, it makes sense. Ethereum and all the use cases make sense. Cardano, Solana, Polkadot, Polygon, VeChain, and so many others make sense in their own ways and have actual use cases for the real world solving real world problems many cryptocurrencies will fail and some of them will last a long time most probably that's the thing about being early it is risky but if it plays out well the reward will be great higher the risk higher the reward but if you're not someone for risk then you should probably stop watching many of those use cases that will exist does not even exist yet that's the beauty of being early Think about NFTs. Three years ago, NFT wasn't even a word that has been in our vocabulary. Now it's like this massive thing. It's a billion dollar industry. Cryptos have so many use cases already, like intellectual property, finance, supply chain issues, uh, fraud. The list goes on and it's just growing by the day. The use cases are only getting started. Like NFTs started with just basic pictures and designs, JPEGs. It's now becoming more and more used in real life, solving real life problems like intellectual property. Like for music, I'm a musician, I've released more than 30 songs and I can tell you that I can't wait for NFTs to become massively adopted for the music industry. There's many reasons that I can tell you that, uh, but that's a story for a different day. If you want to know that, I'll tell you. But crypto is almost becoming like a self-fulfilling prophecy. The more developers get into it, the more usual users get into it and the more investors and smart money goes into it, the stronger the industry becomes. It's like the network effect. The cryptocurrency is already big. It's already more than a trillion dollars. So let's look at the adoption. Let's compare the internet adoption to actual crypto adoption. Just look at that graph. Look how early we are. And even though we are early, it's happening at such a rapid pace. Remember, in the beginning of the internet, we didn't even think of something like e-commerce. You know, it's, it's being early does not mean what we see now is the future. And sometimes our brains limit us to the possibilities of new technologies. And that is what happened in the internet. And I personally think that will happen in crypto as well. We have all these amazing smart developers in this industry thinking and innovating every single day. And that is how we can see that adoption is happening really fast. All the new projects, all the problems being solved. Some of them are probably, you know, not really solving problems, but they're just there to, I don't know, maybe get your money. But something like Ethereum, which I personally love, you know, it, it solves real life problems. Think about it. Three years ago, NFTs was not even a thought. Look what it is now. What else will come in the blockchain world that does not even exist yet? Let's look at funding. Many smart investors will say, follow the smart money. Others in the tech world will say, or tech investors will say, follow the developers and in both instances it is moving towards crypto if we look at billionaire and company adoption individuals that has announced that they own crypto in the past years include big names like elon musk tim cook kathy wood jack dorsey the winklevoss brothers mark cuban gary v chamath mark zuckerberg and the list goes on it's only getting started many of them are, have even just recently announced that they own crypto or bitcoin or ethereum and if they have money in crypto, you know, it's, they, have, they really know a lot. And then companies who have been putting Bitcoin or Ethereum on its balance sheet include companies like MicroStrategy, Tesla, Square, KPMG Canada, and the list goes on. Companies who believe in crypto and are actually accelerating the movement include big names that we love like NVIDIA, Intel, Fidelity, and more. Then you've got a country like El Salvador where people are actually purchasing, you know, basic goods with their Bitcoin. And will more companies add it over time? Well, we'll have to see. We are still very, very early. But that's the beauty of it. But the above mentioned companies, they aren't in it for the short term. You don't just put something on your balance sheet to trade it for, you know, maybe buy now, sell six months later. 
and that actually dries up the supply. And something like Bitcoin, there is a limited supply. Most cryptocurrencies have a limited supply to make it non-inflationary. That's the other, uh, you know, the topic people speak about is Bitcoin is a hedge against inflation. But the more the demand goes up for something like Bitcoin with a maximum supply, the more the demand goes up and the more the supply decreases, the higher the price goes. That's economics 101. So let's look at the two biggest cryptocurrencies and how they compare. Bitcoin versus Ethereum. They are the two biggest. Bitcoin is more like digital gold. It is the OG. It is the more boring one. It's the store of value, similar to artwork, similar to gold. It's purely demand versus supply with a few extra add-ons like it can be exchanged or it can be used as a currency, you know, buying and selling stuff uh, or sending it to your friends in different countries or whatever. Where Ethereum is more like digital oil. Oil, for example, powers cars, cooking, perfume and so many other use cases. So does Ethereum. It empowers various use cases. And many use cases that will come in the future does not even exist yet. But something like NFTs, which recently came, Ethereum empowers something like that. Personally, I own more Ethereum than Bitcoin. So this is just a disclaimer, not financial advice, because I actually have skin in the game. I own cryptocurrencies, probably too much. Companies hiring crypto developers is also something to look at, because these are companies hiring crypto jobs and you can find this information at blockworks uh, on twitter but companies who are hiring for crypto is like nfl nike visa meta apple nvidia disney paypal google fidelity amazon microsoft jp morgan mastercard goldman sachs bank of america they are hiring for crypto jobs the biggest companies in the world doesn't that show something other news you can get daily news from something like Bitcoin Magazine on Twitter, which is something I really follow and it's very interesting. But you can find a lot of news there. So some key highlights and news that has been happening lately include, you know, uh, Uber CEO said that they will accept cryptocurrencies as a form of payments in the future. Uh, then you've got the, the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, to offer Bitcoin and tra crypto trading. Then you've got the Tennessee lawmaker, Jason Powell, proposing a bill to allow the state to invest in Bitcoin. You've got Russia's government and central bank agreeing to treat Bitcoin as a currency. You know, there's so many big news happening. It, it has to excite you. And the more I read, the more it interests me. Then we look at the metaverse and Web3, which is also a massive topic. Cryptocurrencies, the blockchain behind something like Ethereum and Solana, they sit at the core of Web3 and metaverse themes, especially Web3, which is, you know, this new topic of ownership. And they sit, that, that is what NFTs is. And crypto will empower various metaverses. We already have something like Decentraland and Sandbox. And some of my really, really smart friends who are into crypto, you know, they, they said they're not going to own any Google or Facebook because they wouldn't want to own something that is centralized when you've got decentralized players coming so strong. You know, that's a topic and a discussion for another day as well. But, you know, that's just how some people think as well. And then you've got, a list of companies that has been entering the metaverse like McDonald's and Nike and so many others. Then to the next topic, NFTs. NFTs will play a massive part of the future. It's not just it's not just going to be JPEGs and, and pictures that of, of apes or whatever, but it's going to have actual use cases. Like I said previously, at Fin Me Up, we are also looking uh, into NFTs and seeing how we can bring value to our community through blockchain and through solving real life problems problems through blockchain and ownership so here's a list of some companies and individuals that has been getting into nfts it includes nfl youtube twitter reddit walmart under armor shopify adidas and so many others so getting into the conclusion once again not financial advice crypto is a risky investment yes can it go up 25 percent plus or minus in a day Yes, it's very volatile. Can it be, you know, banned? Probably, yes. It's already been banned in a country like China. I think it was twice already. Yet, still it is there. That is part of the theme of decentralization. Can you really ban something that is decentralized and not regulated by one authority alone? Will regulation come? Probably, yes. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. It gives investors more clarity. And the more clarity there is in any investment the more people actually become bullish because then you are more certain of the future. Markets hate uncertainty. 
Does it make sense as a long-term investment? In my opinion, personal opinion, not advice, 100% yes. Do I own crypto? Yes, quite a lot, probably too much. But is it money I'm willing to lose? Yes. Will I want to lose it? Obviously no. But is it something I'm going to sell in the next 10 years? No. This is something for the long term because we are still early. Just look at those previous graphs from the adoption. And the more research I do, the more I get into projects, the more I buy cryptocurrencies. It's just the most people that I know that does not own cryptocurrencies or is against cryptocurrencies have not taken the liberty or the time to do more than, for example, 50 hours of research in crypto. Everyone that I know that has taken more than 25 hours of researching the fundamentals of crypto and what it actually does and some of the use cases, they own crypto and they just get more bullish by the day. We are very early and many, many cryptos will fail. Probably most cryptocurrencies will fail. There are many projects that you know you should be very careful of. But in my opinion, some will succeed very big. Those who solve real world problems will most probably succeed. And that is why I've got quite a diversified portfolio in cryptocurrencies. Uh, if you want, let us know in the comments. We can do portfolio reveals from myself and others in the, the Me Up team. Uh, if you want that, let us know in the comments with enough requests. We'll also do that. But because there will not just be one winner and because many will fail, like investing, diversification is also key. But it is still very early, which means it's a high risk versus high reward ratio. So always be careful, but don't ignore the industry. Do your own research. Do a lot of research. Go on YouTube. Read us many uh, blogs as you can about cryptocurrencies read the websites go on youtube and listen to people who has a lot of knowledge for example the coin bureau i will put his channel in the link in the description below as well but do research and let us know what you think of crypto what excites you the most about it we'd love to know and if you don't own crypto let us know why we'd love to know your arguments why not uh, but if you look at the real smart people you know they are putting a lot of money in there very very interesting and it's a very very interesting industry hope you have a great day join the Me up community in the links uh, in the link in the description for a lot of free content and we've got lots of uh, content planned for you including the new Me up app not too far from now have a great day cheers